Well, we're back and once again trying to make our way through this thing we call Droughtlander. And you know what? I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. This meme sort of says it for us. Uh, Outlander fans, please, sir, I want some more. And Sony and Stars, what? We have been really patient through these Droughtlander periods. So this extra let's make us wait while we're waiting for the second half of seven, it is a little more irritating than necessary. We already know all the edits are finished now. There was a reason when it, there was a strike and, and certain people who we wanted to be in on that final edit couldn't be, but yeah, we're done. I don't know why Stars is doing this. I'm sure there's something to do with scheduling and making sure that they consistently have new content to put up but also so what <laughs> we have been very good about waiting and i know i'm not the only one who is tired of having to simply wonder when we'll get it now the only good thing i do have to say about it is well we do know that we are going to get the b-sides in 2024 for sure and we weren't positive about that while the strike was going on season eight hasn't even yet begun filming and uh while again we understand that there had to be a delay we we're kind of worried that they're going to have us wait forever for the the eighth season and quite frankly with blood of my blood also being filmed that one's being filmed currently there is a concern as to how they're going to scatter the episodes are we going to get season one of blood of my blood before we get season eight of outlander and if so are they going to split that as well well probably not outlander because we do know there's 10 episodes and generally they don't split a 10 episode season but again this is stars and Quite frankly, sometimes it feels like they don't have a lot of respect for the fan base that helps keep that network running. But I've seen a lot of you commenting about the wait. Some of you concerned you might not be around for the eighth season. And while that can be a concern, obviously, I wish that there was a way that we could help speed things forward. Unfortunately, all we can do is vent. And I do want to let you know that if you ever want to vent about having to wait for part B of Outlander, then please vent below. We can all get our aggression out. Might not do us any good, but at least then we know we're not alone. And that's what part of this channel is about. Hopefully this is a nice community where you know you can talk about Outlander, say what's on your mind, ask questions, and share the pain that is waiting for a new episode. Now, we're not the only ones who are anxious for any news about Outlander Season 8, any news about Outlander Season 7 Part B as well. In fact, it seems to me it's the one thing that every Outlander fan is united in right now, which may explain why, yet again, I have so many behind-the-scenes images from previous seasons. Pe people are sharing them all over social media. Sophie Skelton Universe shares this Love the behind the scenes of Sophie Skelton and Katrina Balf in the camera view having a laugh while filming Outlander episode 510. And yeah, yeah we remember this on the beach uh, right before, uh, right before Stephen causes, yeah, more problems. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of goofing around. I'm not sure if Katrina's telling her a secret or going to give her a little kiss on the cheek. Either way, it is a fun little image. And of course, I've got some more. As we pop back just a little bit this time for a season uh, four image, we've got Katrina Balfe on the set of Outlander episode 404, Common Ground with Crystal Lighting. Second photo is with Sam Hewn and John Bell. Let's check that one out. Yep, oh, yeah, we go. More behind the scenes because uh, this is not a smiley moment and they seem awful cheery to each other. But yeah, you can see that the setup, the huts back there, very cool. And I've got some more, it looks like season four behind the scenes as well. Some nice images of some dapper gentlemen. Now that is a great lineup of gentlemen. There we go. We have Quincy, we have uh, Jamie, we have, oh, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, and we have Ian. This is great. And, and you, this is a really great example of the different costuming involved as well. And this one is Outlander Online sharing throwback to these photos of Sam Hewn, Katrina Balfe, John Bell, and Kylie Reese behind the scenes of Outlander. Um, it's from their site archives. And we've got a couple of pictures here, so let's check out what we got going. Uh, there, Claire, and that is, again, I love the, the costuming on here. Quite frankly, I like the beading on her, um, I'm not sure what the official thing would be, but it looks like a, a knapsack, satchel, or a fanny pack in the wrong position. But it's always really cool to see how much detail they put into these costumes. 
And again, yeah, we're all kind of waiting for this shoot. At least they get some blankets to wear. It probably was not that warm, so at least they're trying to stay warm. Now I'm going to go from the costuming to the hair. Oh my gosh. Again, everyone just looks fantastic and a little chilly. <laughs> Why does it look like Jamie's about to get into a little argument with the cameraman? <laughs> got his fist up. And does does the thing on his, uh, and pardon me for just a moment, but does that little white bit on uh, Sam's wrist say stunt or stum? That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> but that has nothing to do with his costume. I believe that's just uh, his coat. And again, showing that it must be pretty chilly and they are trying to stay warm. And now we're going to go a little bit forward in time as we visit the big house. Mine supplying us with an image of Mr. and Mrs. Bug and one of the twins. I'm not sure which one we're playing, but sitting high up in the wagon with the umbrellas because Scotland, rain, kind of a thing. And now comes the really cool behind the scenes stuff because while I don't have any images with people as of yet, what I do believe I have are images of locations for Blood of My Blood. These were posted by a couple of people, so I do want to make sure they each get credit. One moment, let me bring these up. So the first image we have here is from Trisha Marin, and I do apologize if I'm getting that wrong. Uh, the kilted photo and Undis Scott, Scott drone, visit scotland filming for outlander the prequel questioning that just to make sure they aren't positive the uh dune castle and i'm sure i'm pronouncing that wrong uh in scotland at least i know i'm getting that one right and yeah we've got it looks like era appropriate tenting there's a lean to there uh, outside of a castle while there isn't any action going on this really very well could be uh, a moment in time for blood of my blood now there could be many reasons why there's a tent outside my brain first kind of went to oh and brian and wait for a peek uh, at his future bride but i you know this could be anything in the story but it does help to drive the imagination and it is really great to actually get a photo. And I do have one more. One more poster with a couple of uh, images. This one is Freddie Bars. Today, of my blood prequel of Outlander. Uh, and it is just a street. Obviously, it's not set for filming yet because we've got cars and uh, good, those weren't around. Uh, so we know that this is a spot where filming could take place as well as... Uh, this view from further away gives you a better idea of where it is. And that does look like it would be perfect for the time. Plenty of buildings that look very much like they are out of time because they kind of are. They've been there for a while. While I do have a lot of other content, if I kept throwing it in this video, it'd be super long. So that second video at the end of the week, you know, there's going to be more there. I'm not done yet. First off, I do want to thank Ann Fox for her extremely generous contribution to my fund to attempt to get to this convention in late March. I do appreciate your donation and to Anonymous Donor One, I also appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much. Um, if you missed it, uh, the announcement, I'll be trying to go to a convention in Indianapolis uh, late March. Now, the revenue from this channel will help, but unfortunately with getting a table to try to rally interest for a new show in the Star Trek universe, the cost is a little little bit higher than usual and so I'm accepting and asking for any donations for anybody who would like to help me get there uh, again this is not uh, outlander related I don't expect and haven't seen any outlander guests being invited as of yet I've made some requests but that's just up to the committees and who's able to get to the United States. We're hoping they'll be filming, so I don't expect anybody to be able to come. However, putting in the request uh, for them to show up and for you to assist me if you can, it's not really my style, but I'll do what I can to try and influence things in a healthy way as much as I can. So thank you again to Anne. Thank you, Anonymous Donor. And now it's time for a little Graham as he takes us again on his road test with McTavish Spirits. Uh, road test number four. We're surrounded by nature. Sheep everywhere. We're going to open the McTavish bourbon and see if it startles the sheep or whether they too want to get in on the action. Stand by. Shooting for drunk sheep here. <laughs> Missing 
out. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm not sure how that was successful I, I, he was able to sit and have a drink that is definitely a success i thought he was trying to coax the sheep into a, a drink though i and anyway uh let's go see what uh let's see his uh fifth road test uh da, 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 da. i think so <laughs> hello here we are road test number five we're in new zealand happy new year on the bit of a cliff edge here wish us luck Mm -hmm. Happy Cheers. New Year. Happy New Year. Mm. Mm. It's even better this year. Well, you heard him. It's even better this year. I've actually, I've actually been thinking about getting some, but I talked to my husband and he was like, yeah, go ahead. So uh, I may, I may order something. I'm not positive it'll be a Graham something or a Sam something. I haven't decided. Uh, and I am not going to go before I give us at least one Sam treat. Now, last week, I told you that Sam announced who he was working with this year for his My Peak Challenge partner. Uh, but uh, wouldn't it be better if you just heard it from him? Happy New Year. Hello there. Happy New Year from Scotland, from my little friends. More to be explained in a moment, but this is a little clue about what we're going to be talking about. A very, very happy new year to you all. I hope you spent it with friends, family, loved ones, and of course, with peakers. Welcome to MPC 2024. Yes, the platform is now live. I'm really excited. This year we have a brand new platform. We have so much to offer you guys. If you don't know what MPC is, where have you been? It has honestly been such an amazing journey with our community of peakers over the past few years. We have um, essentially a group of people who are helping themselves while helping others. It's really simple. So we have an online forum, we have workouts, mindfulness, meditation, new coaches, new workouts, but at the same time, we are also raising money for charity. And over the years, MPC and our amazing peakers have raised over $7 million for our chosen charities. We have gone to different charities, we've supported different charities and their vital work that they do from Bloodwise, from um, uh, blood cancer research to global food banking, Marie Curie Cancer, cancer Hospice Care, uh, One Tree Planted, we even had peakers planting trees Ocean Conservancy last year, which was an amazing, amazing charity to support protecting the world's oceans and waterways. Well, here we are. Why are we here? I'll tell you why we're here. This little guy probably started me on this journey many years ago when I was only this high, probably the same height as him. Um, we have chosen, we've listened to our peakers and you guys uh, came back very clear with the charity you wanted to work with. And I'm so pleased to announce Finally, if you didn't guess it, yes, the World Wildlife Fund for Nature. They are an incredible charity. I've always wanted to do this, so I'm gonna do this. Here we go. Getting undressed live on Instagram. It is uh, it's one of those amazing days. Isn't this incredible? Um, I'm gonna invite on uh, Nick Hill Advani, the Senior Director of Wildlife and Climate Research. He's gonna tell us more about this incredible charity. They are in over 100 countries around the world. They have 1.3 million supporters in the US, over 5 million worldwide. I cannot wait for you guys to meet Nikhil and we're gonna discuss more about the incredible work that they do and how you guys can get involved with MPC. And he does go on to have a chat and discuss everything that is involved, how it's supported. So I will include that uh, with the sources, but you can easily go to his Instagram and Reels and it's right there, easy to identify. And that is everything I'm going to put in this video today. I do have more that I'm going to share later on this week, but quite frankly, this was going to be long enough as it is. I did want to drive you guys crazy and I can't put two out in one day. It just gets really weird with YouTube uh, and you end up missing one, seeing the other. It's, it's yeah, it's a pain in the rear. So again, I want to thank everyone who has um, shared and uh, helped out with my little side project going to that convention in March again. Uh, Anonymous Donor One and Ann Fox uh, both helped me 
me get a little further. Believe it or not, I have some in real life donations uh, coming in as well. My my mother in law heard <laughs> she's a big Trekkie. She says sure. Uh, my little sister has volunteered to come with me and help man the table. So it it is going well. It's just more people seem to want to give it to me in real life, and that doesn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am making progress slowly and I do have until the end of February to make sure I've got all of the funds together. So fingers crossed. If you can help out, I will include the GoFundMe link for it below. And if you can't, if you can share it uh, where you think other people might be interested, I'd really appreciate it. And then just stay tuned for videos coming out of that convention as well. If you enjoyed this video and the content in it, please don't forget to like if you haven't already. Subscribe so you'll get more content as I make it. Don't forget that I also talk about Star Trek pretty regularly, so you will get notifications for those videos. But right now I'm making at least two Outlander videos a week, so you will get more of that than, than anything else. Thanks again for joining me here today. I do appreciate every view. And don't forget to comment below if you have something interesting to add or to request. And if you just haven't gotten your fill of Outlander content yet, feel free to check out any of the other Outlander videos here on this channel, and I will see you there. Well, we're back. Once again, trying to make aware. Well, we're back, and once again, trying to wake, wake our way through. <laughs> For is my cheek pa my cheek palinger. <laughs>